Well, hello there, good people of the internet. This is a project that I'm working on at the moment, and it's supposed to be its own video, but uh, if you have a look at this here, this chamfer, I spent over two hours trying to get this right, and it was so frustrating I was foaming at the mouth. Well, now I've got it right finally, and I want to show you how I did it. One, as a note for myself in case I forget in the future, and two, in case it helps somebody else. So here's what it looks like originally. That's what it looks like, and I want it to look like this here. Chamfer edge. Not chamfer, but chamfer edge. And by the way, just so you know, the height of this is 0 0.5 and the length this way is 0 0.79. Okay, so I select this and hit distance. Now you can see that I've already set it up that way so that when I hit enter it'll work for me the way I want it. I just pressed distance from down here and now I'm going to type in the dimension that's this way, downways. So 0 0.5 and then this way. Now for some reason when I type 0 0.79 which is the exact dimension it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. And if anybody knows why please let me know. But I type in 0 0.78. Let me try 0 0.79 in case it works this time. 0 0.79. Enter. Yep, see it didn't work. So I'm going to try that again. Chamfer edge. And if I select the edge here and distance 0 0.5 and now I'm setting in the dimension that's this way. So that's 0 0.785 as I found that that was the biggest number I could go. And hit enter. And hit enter again. It shows you a preview of how it's going to look. And that's what I want. So enter again. And there we go. Chamfered just the way I want it. This is a clock tower gear, which I have been modeling by looking at this here. And once I'm done with it, I'm going to show you a tutorial of how to do it. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this.